Welcome to Mecco Graphics. The following video provides a landscape view of how you can create and edit charts from Excel, link your PowerPoint charts to an Excel range or selection, as well as automatically update your charts when your Excel data changes. There are many options for using Excel to make charts. You can use the Link to Excel option to import your data from a defined range in your Excel spreadsheet, or you can alternatively choose to create your charts directly from an Excel spreadsheet and either drop them into a PowerPoint presentation or place and edit those charts directly in Excel itself. This bar line chart provides information on the iTunes market. First, we'll demonstrate linking to an Excel selection from PowerPoint using the link to Excel functionality. And then we'll actually create this chart directly from Microsoft Excel as well as show you how to automatically update the chart without any manual refresh from the user. Link to Excel is a huge productivity enhancer and is a great tool if you already have an existing chart in PowerPoint that you want to set to have periodic updates from a range in Excel. We're starting off in PowerPoint and we're going to open up this chart which currently has no link at all. Now, if I hop over to Microsoft Excel and I have this selected range here and I add data for, let's say, 2015 and highlight this range. Now, when I go back to PowerPoint, I can go to the Link to Excel menu and choose Link to Selected Range. Watch how my chart automatically updates to the data in that range and the green border indicates that the chart is linked and currently synced correctly with that data. If you're working in Excel, you might want to create charts in Excel as opposed to PowerPoint. Perhaps I wish to share my data along with my analysis in the same file. Financial professionals, for example, who are doing monthly packages might want to create charts in Excel to keep their spreadsheets and reports in one place. Let's go ahead and demonstrate. In Excel, I'm selecting the range for which I want to produce my chart, going all the way out to 2017 to account for future data changes. Clicking the Chart in Excel button, I insert a stacked bar chart from the Mecco Graphics tab in Excel, and I'll just move it underneath my data. And as you can see, I now have full Mecco Graphics editing capability right here in Microsoft Excel. Bars and series task pane is opening and I can select that series to be a line and plot it on the 2y axis. I can change the color of the line by right clicking on the line and choosing a fill color. And I can even add my axis titles here just by right clicking on the axis and adding my title, and I can do the same for the 2y axis also. And I'll just click off the chart, and now that chart is in Excel. I can generate that same chart from Excel, but insert it into PowerPoint. So I'll first just enter my data for 2016, and I want you to notice how the chart in Excel is automatically updating as I enter that data because it's linked to that range. And if I select this range again and choose Chart in PowerPoint from the Mecco Graphics tab as opposed to Chart in Excel, and then choose my stacked bar, it will navigate me back over to PowerPoint where I can insert my chart just by clicking wherever I'd like the chart to insert. It's green bordered indicating that the chart is linked and synced to that range. And then, I, of course, I have my full Mecco Graphics editing capability that I would normally have uh, in PowerPoint. Now, what happens if my data in Excel changes or new data is added to my range? So if I were to go over to Excel, for example, and change this one value, say it was wrong and I have to change that value, the chart in Excel will automatically update because it's linked to that range. But in PowerPoint, the chart becomes red bordered immediately. And I would have to manually refresh my data by going to the Link to Excel dropdown and choosing Refresh, which will 
re-import that data from Excel to my chart in PowerPoint. In Meco Graphics, I don't actually have to manually update my link each time. If I open the Excel Link Manager in PowerPoint, and for that chart, click the Auto checkbox, that will now tell Meco Graphics to update that chart automatically when my Excel range changes. So if I go over to Microsoft Excel, and let's say I add a column for 2017, and I go back over to Microsoft PowerPoint, you're going to see that the chart is automatically updated without any manual intervention by the user. As you can see, you have the full range of options for using Excel to create charts. The ability to create and edit Meco Graphics charts in Excel, move those charts from Excel to PowerPoint and even back to Excel will serve as a productivity enhancement to those users who make several charts that require periodic updates. This concludes our video on how to link charts to Excel in Meco Graphics. Here is a list of resources that are at your disposal we encourage you to take advantage of all the ways to communicate with us. For more information, visit our website, www.mechographics.com, or email us at support at mechographics.com. And thanks for watching.